Hey guys, did you know that bass are an opportunistic feeder? Basically what that means is if an opportunity presents itself, a bass is going to eat something. This year in 2021, it is the year of Brood 10, the cicada. This is a huge opportunity for us as bass fishermen to catch bass on cicada lures. This year, there's a huge opportunity for bass. I'm talking largemouth, smallmouth, all these bass are gonna be eating cicadas. Brood 10 is coming. There's several states that are gonna have this giant mass of cicadas coming and it's not just like a little bit of cicadas. It's not like thousands or even millions. It's billions, if not trillions of cicadas that are gonna be coming. I've actually got four cicada lures that I have recently bought. And basically today, I wanna to find which one is the best. I have four different kinds. I wanna find which one is the best, which one swims the best, because when these cicadas come out of the ground and they're everywhere, guys, I remember 17 years ago catching bass on live cicadas cicadas like crazy and I'm really excited to see it this year how it's gonna how it's gonna play because again I caught tons of bass on live cicadas when I was young doing this and now I've got four different cicada lures today that I want to basically test out see which one swims the best which one looks the best and I'm gonna let you guys know which ones that I think you should buy before this massive amount of cicadas comes here in just the next couple of months so stay tuned it's gonna be a good one So just down here at a little local pond near me, really, I'm not even gonna get bit by a bass today because it's like, the water's probably like 49, 50 degrees. But I'm just wanting to test these lures out because again, when the cicadas come, I wanna know which one I think is gonna be the best. And I'm gonna throw them then and I'm gonna do a video then. But right now, I wanna see which one I think walks the best and which one I think runs the best. Which one I just think is the best quality. That way I can kind of tell you guys which one I think you should buy before basically they're gonna be sold out everywhere. All right guys, there was some definitely some winners and some losers among those few lures that I just tested out. I'm gonna head back to my house and I'll let you guys know exactly what I thought about each lure, how it retrieved. There was definitely a lot of differences which I wasn't expecting because they were all shaped very similar. So let's get it. All right guys, so no matter if you are a pond fisherman or a bank fisherman or like an experienced tournament angler, I think that the cicada lure is going to play big in 2021. And again, especially in that Midwest to Northeast region where this brood 10 is going to come out of the ground here like April, May, June, in that time frame, again, bass are an opportunistic feeder, right? If an opportunity presents itself for a bass, a lot of times the bass is gonna eat it, right? A snake, a fish, a bird, a cicada. So I really think that a cicada lure is gonna be well and not a lot of companies make them. So you guys are gonna to wanna to get your hands on some of these cicada lures, but before you do, I wanna go over to the four that I basically just went out and tested, right? Because I bought several and I just wanted to see which one I think is going to be best, which one's maybe going to be worse so on and so forth. There was definitely one that was not great. There was definitely a couple that I really, really liked. So let's get right into it. Starting out with the Savage Gear 3D Cicada. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit um, underwhelmed by the performance of this bait. Now, when I actually picked up this lure, 
uh, I noticed that it was probably the closest to resembling an actual cicada. Like when I picked it up in my hand, I actually remembered the feel of picking up these cicadas back when I was, like I said, 13 or 14. The bottom of it is like the exact same. The top of it is like the exact same. Uh, this color really resembles the, the cicadas that are going to come out. Again, that Brood 10 very very well but it just didn't perform well and i don't know if this is because my bait is actually flawed here what i noticed and if you can see this lure here i'll try to hold it where the camera will see it these wings these appendages of this cicada are actually a little bit off when i was pulling it through the water it really struggled to walk on top of the water like a lot of times it would dive kind of under it would go to the side it really really unless i reeled it really really slow it really just didn't work the best. So I'm not about bashing companies on this channel, but with that being said, I was very underwhelmed by the performance of this bait. Now, like I also just said, this particular bait, I don't know if it's flawed. Like I said, if you look at the wings, I can, I can literally see that they're off by a little bit. And if they're off, that's gonna throw this whole bait off. So maybe you guys have used this before, maybe you've had a different experience, but that was my experience testing this thing out, is that it was the wings were a little bit off, and because of it, it swam a little bit off. The next bait is the Mega Bass uh, Cicada, and this one um, was one of the more expensive ones of the bunch. With Mega Bass, you tend to get quality, so I definitely wanted to buy one to see what it was. I really, I really wasn't disappointed at all by this bait. Now, where you actually connect your line is actually on the tail end of this lure and it actually only has one hook on this bait. The other ones have two sets of trebles. This one actually just has one hook and not only that it just has it's not even a treble hook, it's a two-pronged hook. This bait worked really, really well. I could actually probably reel this the fastest out of all the baits while still getting a really good walking action out of it. And if you guys haven't seen this style of lure before, it just kind of cups like this when it's going through the water. It's like... And this one I could actually reel probably the fastest out of the bunch and still get good action out of it. But with that being said, it only has that one... Uh, two-pronged hook on the bottom so again I haven't caught any fish on this lure so I, I, I'm definitely gonna try it um, because of the, just the way that it walks it walked really well um, but I'm anxious to see if I if I won't get hooked up a little bit better with two you know treble hooks as opposed to the double pronged hook that's on this it may not affect it at all you know this is a smaller bait it's only about an inch so most bass are probably gonna just suck this down really really easily get those two hooks and it's probably not going to affect the bait too much so i am excited the one thing i tell you about this bait is it has the best sound out of all of them i'm sure that you can hear that on the on the camera this definitely had the best sound and you could really tell when i was bringing it through the water and it was going back and forth it would you could hear it just tune, 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 tune. so with that being said i can definitely see this particular one having really good drawing power, being able to pull fish from a little bit longer distance because of that sound that's on it. So this is definitely one I'm gonna keep, definitely one I'm excited to use when the cicadas start coming out of the ground. All right guys, so this other smaller version of a cicada is actually a Chase Baits Ripple Cicada, okay? And I was actually really intrigued by this particular bait because unlike the other lures, this one actually has a soft body. The body basically resembles a hollow body frog. It's got shape, it's hollow on the inside, but it's actually very soft. I was really interested to see how this one works because in my mind, I think that if I can hook more fish on this, I think that the, the likelihood of them coming off is going to be less because of that soft body. That soft body kind of allows those hooks to give here and there and it allows you to keep them hooked up. So this was actually one of my favorites of the bunch. I like the Mega Bass, but this one had a very good walking action. I couldn't reel this one as fast as I could the Mega Bass while still keeping a good action to it, but it does have two sets of treble hooks, including a little feather treble on the very bottom of this. So. Guys, this is one that I'm definitely going to keep in my box because again, it's it's a softer bait. Like, look, I can squish it down. It's it's soft, and I really really like that. Unlike the Mega Bass, 
It's got no rattles in it, no sounds, no nothing. So this is going to be very finessey on top of the water. This is going to really resemble a bug, to be honest. It's not going to have a whole lot of rattles or nothing like that. I think if you get into calm water situations, maybe you're fishing in a creek, um, you know, this could be a really, really good bait. And again, with that soft body, I'm really excited because I think that that soft body is going to allow you to keep more fish hooked and get them in the boat or on the shore when you catch them on this particular bait. So Chase Baits Ripple Cicada, I'm going to say this is good to go, good to go. All right, guys, let's talk about this last one. And as you can see, this bait is definitely different than the other ones. It's honestly about three or four times bigger than the rest. This is a Duo Realis Grade A Deca Shimushimushi. Probably didn't say that right, but I, I'm going to link all these baits down in the description below so that you guys can basically see them. Now, this bait had very good action as well. I think because it has these big, you know, fins on the side or wings, I mean, it really just choo, 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 in the water and it has a little bit of a rattle to it too. The only thing about this bait is it represented a bird, I would say, more than a bug. Okay, like this thing is big. It may not look as big in my hand as it actually is, but when you're bringing it through the water, it, it's like it's it's got some drag. It puts off a commotion, right? Now, the one thing I really liked about this particular bait, though, is that I could throw it really easily on bait cast equipment. You know, I could I could pitch this around with my top water rod, a seven foot medium action rod. And guys, the key with all of these cicada lures is really reeling them pretty slow. Okay, you want to reel them slow, and when you reel them slow, they really walk well, and you'll hear choo choo choo. So this one, again, it worked well, but again, it's more like a bird than a bug. Like it really had a big wobble. It really moved a lot of water. So I'm gonna use this one for sure, but it's gonna be when I'm fishing around bigger bass. You know, when I'm fishing around those, you know, five, six, seven pound bass, that's when I wanna use this thing because it has a big wobble. It stirs up a big commotion. And honestly, like I said, it's more like a baby bird coming across the water than a bug. I really did like this one. It, it, it's really done well. Like, you know, it's it's got a lot of these, it, it just, there's a lot of extras on this. It's got feathered trebles, the really nice trebles. The wings seem to be really high quality. I really like this particular bait. Again, I can throw this one on bait cast. Now with the other baits that I was showing, the Mega Bass, the Chase Baits, and so on, those are all quarter ounce baits or even a little bit below. So those ones I'm probably going to be throwing mostly on a spinning rod, like a seven foot medium action spinning rod, braid to, braid to mono leader on there. Um, I'll tell you what, with these baits, now that I said that, you want to make sure that if you're fishing braided line, which I like to do a lot with topwater lures, I would definitely encourage using some sort of leader. Uh, it doesn't have to be big, but something between you know 10 inches and two foot is gonna be really, really key with these baits. And the reason being is that there's a lot of appendages on all these baits, right? You have these big wings, you have hooks, you have even some of these other things like this. If you're using this bait, for, like straight braid to this bait, that, that braid is gonna get hung around your wings, it's gonna get hung around the hooks, and it's gonna be a lot of frustrating fishing. So if you just add a little bit of a leader um, in between the braid and the actual bait, that's not gonna get hung near as much. The mono or that floor, you could probably even use fluorocarbon with this. It's, it keeps it a little bit more straight, you're not gonna get hung, and you're gonna have a lot more success using these baits. I'm gonna use the big Duo Realis when I'm fishing around big fish. Uh, I'm gonna use this little chase baits one whenever I'm fishing in probably calmer conditions because it's so silent, but it's got that soft body and two trebles. And then this other one, this mega bass, is what I'm gonna use pretty much when I'm fishing, maybe a little bit of a ripple on the water or windy conditions, or if I'm trying to draw fish from maybe five, six, seven foot deep. Go out and get you some cicada baits before this Broad X comes, or else you might miss out on a really, really great bite. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please leave a comment below and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.